if you're packaging up mylar with rice or beans or whatever you're doing and you're not getting this vacuum sealed type effect you might be doing something wrong these oxygen absorbers come in different sizes i like to buy the 2500 uh, cc size i even use those in the in the small uh, mylar bags here it's overkill but i i know i'm going to get the maximum amount of oxygen absorbed out of that little bag the other thing I want to take note of is these have these little test uh, tabs that are in here that tell you that these have not been uh, exposed to oxygen. If this package accidentally got opened up, this little tab here would be back like like a blackish, a darkened color. And as you can see, these are all that nice, bright, you know, pink color still. Whereas this little tab here has been exposed for about five minutes only, and it's it's darkened up. This way you know if these have been exposed, if they're good to use or not. The other thing you want to do is when, before you go sealing this up, you really want to fold this down and squeeze out as much as the air that's in there. Because the thing is, this is only going to absorb 20% of the air volume. Because the rest of the stuff in, that's in the air that you're breathing is nitrogen, carbon monoxide, and, and other gases. So you're only gonna remove 20% of the air volume that's in this container. So by squeezing out as much air as you can before you seal it off, you're gonna to ensure to get that nice tight vacuum seal effect so you know that you don't have any holes in the bag and so you know that the oxygen absorber is actually working correctly. The other thing I like to do is before I put this in the bag with this, is I take it and I just, you know, just, just break it up a little bit to make sure that that iron oxide, I believe that's what it is inside these uh, little packets, is broken up to maximize uh, you know, the effect of the product. 